Welcome to the Women's Business Report. I'm Sue McCarthy. Women's Business Report features women business executives and owners. You will find their stories compelling, heartwarming, and inspirational. We will proudly introduce you to these wonderful women after this message from our supporters. Women's Business Report is brought to you by DC Cosmetics, one of the Washington, D.C. area's leading centers for laser liposuction, tummy tuck, and breast augmentation surgery. Welcome back to Women's Business Report. Our next business executive is a third generation banker. Industrial Bank of Washington was founded over 80 years ago. Patricia Mitchell is an executive vice president of strategic programs and continues the legacy of serving the community. Industrial Bank was started in 1934 by Jesse Mitchell because blacks did not have a place where they could borrow. Hi, I am Patricia Mitchell, Executive Vice President of Industrial Bank, and this is my grandfather, Jesse Mitchell. He started the branch at 11th and U, and that was the mecca for black intellectuals, where they did business, um, where they enjoyed nightlife during the 30s, 40s, and 50s. The baton was passed to my father, B. Doyle Mitchell, Sr. He remained president and chairman until his death in 1993. My brother is currently president. I'd like to congratulate Ms. Patricia Mitchell of Industrial Bank for over 80 years of a legacy of service with one of the greatest banks in the country. My name is Lance London. I've been with Industrial Bank for over 15 years and I'm here to tell you they've definitely worked with my company and I've watched my company with the association to Industrial Bank grow immensely. We have eight locations, six in the district and two in Prince George's County. Today we're at our Anacostia Gateway location here at Martin Luther King and Good Hope Road. We are a full service bank. We do loans, uh, commercial real estate, church loans, residential loans, um, all different types of loans. We do a lot of work in the community. I'm very proud of all the work that we do in the community. We work with the Collective Empowerment Group, which is a group of churches in the district in Prince George's County. We work with Operation Hope and do a lot of financial literacy and financial empowerment with the seniors, as well as the United Planning Organization. We spend countless hours at schools and work in the Ethiopian community. Um, at Industrial Bank, we are really all about access to capital. And as a commercial loan officer, I get to be on the front end of that. We are um, very focused on providing loans to small businesses, to women-owned small businesses, to other minority businesses. And we'll certainly utilize any number of um, available programs to assist us in, in making loans to businesses, such as those offered by the Small Business Administration. We're, in fact, a preferred lender with the SBA. And it's allowed us to, um, to help a number of folks, a government contractor who was on the verge of winning a new contract and wanted to ramp up and, and uh, get prepared for those costs and needed a line of credit. We were able to use a, an SBA loan program for that. Um, a licensed clinical social worker in Prince George's County who had been renting office space to see patients, uh, see clients, was able to buy a building with some financing we provided through an SBA loan program and now she has a place for her clients to come of her own and as well as a space to train other licensed uh, social workers. So um, it, we take advantage of those opportunities to, um, to help small businesses and, and um, that's something that everyone in, in the bank is, a, is about. Patricia um, Mitchell will 
frequently be out and give me a call and say, hey, Maria, you call this woman. I talked to her. She just needs some information. She's not ready to apply yet. But I told her that you know she should talk to us at Industrial and just hear about the process, find out um, what it'll take to get ready. And we'll do that. It doesn't have to be an application or a need right then. Sometimes it's just information, because we recognize that um, one piece of access to capital is understanding how to go about it and how to prepare yourself to to apply. Forty years after the bank started, we had our first woman on the board of directors. And since that time, we've had many women on the board of directors and in senior level positions. My father's right hand was Mrs. Massey Fleming, and she was the executive vice president and the CEO of the bank for over 20 years. But there's still not a lot of women in senior level positions in banking. When I went to a bank holding seminar of senior level positions, of senior level officers in 1993, in a room of 100, there were only six women. And people wanted to know, well, who brought their secretaries? And although that's been 20 years, there are still not a lot of women. More women are CEOs than in previous decades, but that's an area where there is plenty of room to grow. If you're a woman in business, whether you're thinking about starting your own business, you've been in business for a while, you're about to take to the next level, you're going to win this contract and you just know it and you need some additional funding to get you there, come and see us call us, call me. We're happy to share information. We're happy to guide you through the process that's involved in getting that capital, that funding that's going to help you to grow your business. That's, that's what we're all about in Industrial Bank, and we're invested in seeing other women businesses grow and reach their full potential as well. Sheila Gill is a person who naturally gives to others. As a teacher for 19 years, an author, and a financial advisor, she helps people navigate through any obstacles that may come their way. Her company, We Care Services, provides financial workshops, mentoring, and support in every aspect of finances. Hello, Women's Business Report, and welcome to We Care Services Incorporated. Helping people, I love to help people. And when we can help them financially, it gives them the opportunity to reach their dreams, their goals, and fulfill their purpose. With We Care Services Incorporated, we show people, middle income America, how to do what the wealthy do. Put your money where it goes to work for you. As a former teacher in Prince George's County Public Schools, I started teaching in Washington, D.C., where I was born and raised. My parents were the proud owners of Gills Valet, on Minnesota Avenue next to Pep Boys. We started that family business in 1963. As a protege of a family business owner, I always wanted to own my own business. And I believe teaching launched that for me because going into my classroom, I really felt that I was in control. I always said every child that came in my classroom, I wanted to find out where they were and then take them where they needed to go. And that was my goal. And now I am, have an opportunity to work with larger children, grown adults, who I find have just as much passion and joy as a young child. And when we work together, we work as a team at We Care Services Incorporated to make sure that we educate and get our financial literacy piece out to the public. And back in 1980s, I had my opportunity to get started in financial services. When I got started, I was making about $52,000 a year on my teaching job some 25 years ago. And in less than a year, my income doubled to a six-figure income, where I was the recipient of this six-figure income ring. I am very happy this year I will be walking across the stage in Las Vegas in August to receive my second six-figure income ring. My goal now is to help and teach as many people as I can how to do what I have done and more. I believe if you show a person how to get started, they will run the race and get to the finish line. With our financial literacy program, we do a presentation, and we do that presentation every Friday at 7 p.m. and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. at our Fort Washington location, 7111 Allentown Road. You will see the big sign outside that says, 
We Care WSA, which stands for Wealth Smart America. Come on down, join our presentation, and get some free information that will change your life. I am the proud parent of a son who is now a graduate of Morgan State University, and he went to Morgan four years free of charge to me because we were fortunate to get scholarship money. There are so many parents out here that have no clue how to send their child to college and not have to worry about how they're going to pay for it. I'm very fortunate to have a mother who's working in financial services. Um, it's helped me a lot, you know, being a young professional, you know, finally coming into my, you know, starting out on a job on my own, working on my own to have her advice, her guidance. Um, she's just the things she's told me about, things she set up for my future, for my retirement, it, you know, it just gets me excited. We can show you how to take your child and be able to have four years of college paid for, be able to have them put money down on their first home, also upgrade to their second home, and even secure their financial income for life with our financial product. I have taught for many years, and after teaching, I got very passionate about showing teachers how to retire with dignity. I sat in a workshop that made me so angry when I heard them say that the average teacher in America retires on less than $1,500 a month. Hi, I'm Don Zimmerman. I'm <coughs> here with Women's Business Report, and uh, I'm a retired teacher from Prince George's County Public Schools, where I taught for 38 years. And after I retired, I joined in with uh, Sheila in trying to help teachers uh, retire with dignity, and in so doing, we have been working for quite a few years. Uh, I'm with her before and during and after now that we are into, into this particular business, and we're doing a great job. It's a great opportunity for anybody and everybody, particularly those of you who are following in my footsteps, and uh, we'd like to invite you down, and uh, so you can enjoy uh, working with us, and we'll hope to see you soon. We're excited about you coming down to attend our free financial literacy seminar, as well as taking a look at our part-time opportunity. So in addition to the free financial literacy seminar, the first five people that attend and mention Women Business Report, or WBR, will get a free autographed copy of my book, Get a Life and Live It. The Virginia Women's Business Conference is the one-day event for visionary women who want to discover the tools for success, make strategic business connections, and leave feeling empowered and inspired to take action. They recently had their seventh annual conference at the National Conference Center in Leesburg, Virginia, and we were there to cover it. Hello, Women's Business Report. I'm Tina Johnson. Thank you for coming out and joining us at the seventh annual Virginia Women's Business Conference. We have been so excited today. It is our seventh annual year. We had almost 600 women join us today. We have the introduction of our leadership tracks, which has been phenomenal and very well received by our attendees. And our keynote speaker, Tatiana McFadden, multi-time Olympic champion here today. And we're very excited that you came out to join us. Hello, Women's Business Report. My name is Angela Inzarola with Impact Business Solutions here at the Virginia Women's Business Conference 2015. Just thrilled to be here. I was here a couple of years ago as an attendee and really enjoyed meeting everybody and going to the business tracks and learning a new skill set just networking with people and listening to really fabulous speakers. This year, I'm actually here as a speaker. Hello, Women's Business Report. This is Bonnie Taylor. I am the owner of CCS Innovations, a marketing and creative firm located here in Loudoun County. I am here today at the Virginia Women's Conference and so happy to be here. This is my fifth out of seven time joining the uh, conference. I come every year to meet people, to learn new ideas, uh, make business connections, and I'm really, really pleased to be here. I was a speaker earlier today. I spoke on management. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful event. If you know of a businesswoman that you would like to be considered, please send us an email to info at womensbusinessreport.com.
For almost 30 years, WIRE, better known as Women in Retail Real Estate, has been working to create a collaborative network to promote the success of women within the retail real estate industry. They recently held a panel where very successful women shared their thoughts and insights. We were fortunate enough to be invited to the event. Hello, Women's Business Report. My name is Deb Lodico. I'm a partner in the law firm of Herschel Savitz, Parker & Holman, and I'm also the president currently of WIRE. WIRE stands for Women in Retail Real Estate, an organization that's been around for 29 years. We support women in the retail real estate field, and we're happy to say that we are increasing membership and we had a wonderful event tonight. Uh, we focused on women-owned businesses. Hello, Women's Business Report. My name is Bethany Scanlon, the co-founder and principal of Neighborhood Retail Group. This evening, we had an amazing panel of women who are super fierce, truly super fierce, and women that truly wow us. Um, tonight, we had Maggie O'Neill from Swatch Room. Hello, Women's Business Report. My name is Maggie O'Neill. I'm the co-founder of Swatch Room. I'm an artist and designer. I'm a native Washingtonian, and I am a women-owned business. Um, this evening was really remarkable. There was incredible talent, incredible minds that all came together to support and share stories about women-owned businesses, but also the things that we need to do to really come together and support one another, uh, grow from one another, and and really make Washington a, a much better place because of it. And I couldn't be more grateful to be part of it. So thank you very much. Rebecca Siner from Insight Property Group. Having the courage to step outside the box and having the courage to bring in people that weren't in our industry. And I wanted to bring in people that I felt were incredibly passionate and were supporting the creative scene in DC. Elise Cohen from ALC Hospitality and Pi 5. Hello, Women's Business Report. I'm Elise Cohen. I'm the founder of ALC Hospitality. I'm here at WIRE, tonight's event featuring WOW Women. And we're talking about women in real estate. You know, for me, it's, you know, I have a couple restaurants and location is everything. So to talk to other women about the challenges that they face in real estate is, you know, it's, it's just awesome. It's fantastic to be around people who inspire, who teach me on a day-to-day -day basis what to do, you know, how to do it, and you know, for me to do the same. Asha from Mason Dixie Biscuits. Hello, Women's Business Report. I'm Asha Abalasha, CEO of Mason Dixie Biscuit Company. Um, today we had a really great event, uh, the Wire Women in Business panel. I was uh, fortunate enough to be a part of this panel. It was a great uh, collaboration of a lot of leading women in the business here in DC, um, across industries from real estate to restaurants to retail. Um, I just want to say thanks for the opportunity. We also had Joe Patrick Love from AmeriCode, as well as Kareen from Kareen's Bridal. Hello, Women's Business Report. My name is Joe Patrick Love, and I'm here at the Women in Retail Real Estate event. And we have just wrapped up a very delightful evening where we had women in a variety of industries talking about their obstacles and their successes. And it's been wonderful to sit around and listen to their stories as well as be able to tell my story of uh, being in the construction industry for over 30 years in the Northern Virginia, Washington, D.C. metropolitan region. Hello, Women's Business Report. My name is Kareen Crowick. My name, I own Kareen's Bridal Atelier in Georgetown, D.C. And I had the honor and the privilege to be part of a panel of five other women uh, who are young, successful, and completely inspiring to me. Uh, I, I'm happy to say, and I love that other people go through the same situations that I do, and to be able to know that I can call on them now, that I got to meet them, to ask for advice, or to talk about anything that goes on within our entrepreneur adventures. Our next show will be our first anniversary show. It can be seen here on News Channel 8, Sunday, March 27th at 3.30 p.m. Please like us on Facebook at Women's Business Report and follow us on Twitter at WomenBUS. Our website is womensbusinessreport.com. To send us information or be considered to be featured on the show, email us at info at womensbusinessreport.com. 
Since 2010, the Power Conference Women Doing Business has promoted business development for women in business through networking, education, and marketing opportunities. Over 700 women business owners came together for this year's conference. Women's Business Report was invited to the Power Conference and spoke with Nancy Reglin, co-chair of the conference. Hello, Women's Business Report. This is Nancy Reglin. I'm the co-chair of the Power Conference Women Doing Business. We're here today in the Montgomery County Conference Center with 760 women in business, energized doing business networking, learning new skills, listening to a fabulous keynote speaker, networking with exhibitors, 70 exhibitors in the exhibit hall, showcasing authors, and just generally having a really vibrant business-oriented day. Business development, that's the key mission of the Power Conference. And we've seen it happening all the way throughout the day. So I just left a young woman uh, who cried and a tear came down because she said she got chosen as one of the speakers. And because she got chosen as the one of the speakers, she finally kicked her business plan into gear. She got all her marketing materials done. She had a session, made connections, and she said, I'm really going places now. And that's why this is a labor of love for the volunteers from women business owners in Montgomery County, women business owners of Prince George's County, the Women's President's Education Organization of DC, and the Women in Business Education Foundation. Those four women's business organizations are your hosts of the Power Conference. And their volunteers put on this conference every year. It is a labor of love. We have a very strong mission. It's simply this business development for women in business. And everything we do is focused on doing that and creating all those collisions that you want to happen where people will connect with people, that they'll learn the skills that they need to, to learn to really advance their career or advance their company business. And we think we're actually pretty successful at that just by listening to some of the stories that people tell us. I think our favorite story is early on we had a speaker who stopped and spoke to one of the attendees in the audience. She was a brand new uh, startup, had an idea in her head. As a result of that, she ended up in, the, in an incubator. The speaker ended up with a six-figure contract to build the website for an online health company that has gone on to be sold and has been very successfully successful internationally. So small collisions like that happen at a place like the Power Conference, and that's why people come year after year after year. Our next show will be our first anniversary show. It can be seen here on News Channel 8, Sunday, March 27th at 3.30 p.m. Please like us on Facebook at Women's Business Report and follow us on Twitter at WomenBUS. Our website is womensbusinessreport.com. To send us information or be considered to be featured on the show, email us at info at womensbusinessreport.com. The Maryland Women's Business Center recently held their 12th annual Start Right Business Plan competition. Over 50 women submitted their business plans. The winners were announced during the luncheon at the Power Conference. There were three third place winners, two second place winners, and one grand prize winner. The grand prize winner was Hetty Ermer, psychotherapist and owner of Four Corners Counseling. Hello, Women's Business Report. My name is Hetty Ermer. I'm a psychotherapist and owner of Four Corners Counseling in Silver Spring, Maryland. And I have a special niche as the thinking woman's therapist. I'm also excited to report that I am the grand prize winner of the Start Right Women's Business Plan competition, which I received that prize today at the uh, Maryland P Power Conference for Women in Business, Women Doing Business. So the way I got started with this uh, 
competition is that last year, a friend of mine, who also owns a business, just kind of said to me, as an aside, why don't you come to this power conference? And I hadn't heard about it. And as a psychotherapist, I wasn't really focused on being a businesswoman, but I had a feeling that that would be a good thing for me. And I had also a feeling that that might be part of who I am inside. So I went to the conference, and during the luncheon, they announced the winners of last year's business plan competition. And there were three different companies who were wellness companies. And I thought, they're not that different from me. I think I could do this. And my friend kind of elbowed me and said, yeah, you could, you could do this. Isn't your business, uh, when did you start your business? I said, September 2015, because you have to be three years old or younger as a business to apply for, submit a plan for the competition. So I did, because my anniversary is this month. And uh, I wrote the plan, and I'd never written a business plan before. Wasn't really sure if it was going to pass muster, but I thought, you know, I want the, the, uh, the feedback. So I think I should just go ahead and submit it. So I did, and it was really imperfect. I knew that. I'm a perfectionist. But I went ahead and did it. And lo and behold, I got a call saying that I was one of the semi-finalists. So I put together my pitch and presentation, and I had to have a 10 slide PowerPoint, and I really didn't know how to put together a PowerPoint, but I pulled together some people who did, and um, I was on vacation at a family reunion the week before the uh, pitch and presentation, so I pitched it to my 14 closest family members, and if that was, was uh, good enough, I thought that's a good prep preparation. And then I went ahead and gave my pitch, and it went really, really well, but I was still surprised when I found out that I was the grand prize winner. Um, it's a thrill because it's helped me to get a sense of not only do I have a, a profession and a craft as a psychotherapist, but I also am a businesswoman and I have a right to claim that identity. And so this combination of being a psychotherapist and being a businesswoman feels really, really good to me. And I feel like I'm getting in the flow of what I'm meant to do in my life. So it's a thrill to be here and I plan to be involved in the Power Conference and the Women's Business Center for many years to come. We would like to thank our sponsors, including Catering by Uptown. Our next show will celebrate our first anniversary, which coincides with Women's History Month, Sunday, March 27th at 3.30 p.m., right here on News Channel 8. If you know a businesswoman you would like for us to feature, please send us an email to info at womensbusinessreport.com. For Women's Business Report, I'm Sue McCarthy. Women's Business Report is brought to you by DC Cosmetics, one of the Washington, DC area's leading centers for laser liposuction, tummy tuck, and breast augmentation surgery. Thank you.